couldn't afford to do is have someone sent to the sin bin, but it's the ideal comeback by England. Knock over another three points. Oh. Well, look at this, Paul Saki! Was that a try? If it was, it was most surprising. And a huge bit of enterprise by Johnny Wilkinson. The referee just consulting the touch judge, and that caught the Tonga defence absolutely flat-footed. But is it a try or isn't it? Well, brilliant by Wilkinson. There was I saying, knock over another three points. He's going to go for seven. Ah, did Paul Saki catch it and ground it? Ooh. Well, of course, the stadium here can see on those giant scoreboards the fact that he did touch it down, but was it in play? Well, that's a good question. If he is out of play, if he is touching the white line, then the ball's out of play, in which case it should be a, a 25. Even a 22. <laughs> uh, I don't work in metric, no, either do I. He definitely grounds it. Just... It was a good bit of skill by the Wasps winger, wasn't it? And well, his it looks as though it's just inside the line. Well, I don't know. His elbow is on the line. I can award the try. Well, Thank there you. you go. It's a try. And I think you can tell from Paul Saki's body language that he is absolutely over the moon and so pumped up for this. So, as soon as that try was scored by Tonga, England have struck back. And that's exactly what they needed to do. Strike back quickly, and if Johnny Wilkinson can slot this, that'll do their confidence the world of good. So another chance for one of the most prolific point scorers in rugby history, Johnny Wilkinson. Distance will not be a problem. He's pushed it wide, though, and that is a big miss by his standards. Well... A difficult kick, but again, you know, would you take five points or three? I'm sure England will be absolutely delighted with the five points there. Brilliant vision by Wilkinson. Great play, great take by Saki. Wow. Lovely moment for